Welcome back. This is still Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. Tama Braxton has been rushed to hospital following a possible suicide attempt after being found unresponsive in her hospital room. Um, the boyfriend, David, called mm. um, 911. Mm. I mean, I don't know. This is really <laughs> sad. Like I was shocked, fam. Shocked. I didn't think that she was suicidal, suicidal. at all. Like, she's pretty feisty. I mean, I used to watch the... The one with all the sisters in there mm. for a while. And they look like, oh, well, you just never know, man. This thing is really mind-bugging. Uh, I was very sad to hear this. Um, I They started this show on YouTube called Quarantined and Cu Coupled and Quarantined or yeah, something. Yeah, she and Herbie. Yeah, and before that, she I, the last episode, they had mentioned how, unfortunately, she's under the weather and she can't, whatever, whatever. Mm -hmm. That was the first time that she was kind of like in the radar of, is everything okay? Yeah. Um, and then we heard that you know, they were having issues with her um, TV reality show now, on, not on YouTube, on TV. And I think they wanted to cancel. We don't know what's going on with that. And, they, and it's been known about resources, like they always target, has been saying that there's something wrong and it's really affecting her that, that that's happening. And I can imagine that, this is now me speculating, you know, from leaving the real... And not having something, maybe something that she had really put her heart into. It's not going on. You can lose purpose, if, I, if that makes sense. You can lose um, your your drive or whatever. Maybe she doesn't know where, yeah, or something. And that's really affecting her because um, I, at first I thought it was the man. Because I thought, yeah. you know, you just inside this thing and you've been really happy. But the way he's also responding, I think it's, he's as shocked <laughs> as, <laughs> as, as everybody else. else. So it's, it's not just about love. And I, I really hope that she pulls through from this. It's really sad and really mind burgling and um, I think it just takes it into now that um, sources are saying it's the business, obviously businesses are not functioning like they used to, mm. so they're go there's going to be a lot of businesses shutting down, not able to meet their targets or not even able to pay off their debts. And because we know a lot of businesses um, thrive on, on debts and all that, and if they're not able to do that, are they supposed to pay? Are they supposed to make money? Are they supposed to do a lot of other things? So um, it's really disturbing, and we just hope COVID goes back to where it came from so that we can get our lives back. Like, I've been saying that since yesterday. I want to get my life back. Okay, well, let's go on another break, <clears throat> and when we come back, trust me, there's more to discuss. Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child. I see them every day. <laughs> <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like an Alibaba? Alibaba. Oh, <laughs> Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to die, everybody feeling all right. Bye. That was how they look myself, minimal are you? Mm. Akpala music is for mature minded people. I got DM sometimes from my love we like. Woo! Sleeping early, sleeping early. Ned Walker files two billionaire lawsuit against journalists who labelled him a cultist for marrying virgins. Um, Nigerian lawyer politician, of course, and the husband to Nollywood actress Regina Daniels um, has filed the lawsuit against um, the journalist who, following her latest publication, which is described as defamatory and does not speak well of the billionaire's reputation, Azuka Jebose Muluk. Who, I hope I didn't murder that, claimed Ned Woko marries virgins to complete his occultic task. The legal action against the journalist was taken after she went on social media to claim she is not bothered with the warning given her about her constant slanderous publication about the businessman. Hmm. Two billion. Mm -hmm. Huh. Obviously, he's a billionaire. You should he be suing in. We must use his head now. Okay, millions. two billion. No, you just using his head. He's using his head. Yeah, two billion to people. I, mean, I think 
I think bloggers and mm. journalists, well, they're almost in the same ah, place. No, 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 right no, now. No, 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 They're no. almost getting there where we are going to now. Because if you're a journalist, then you will not be saying what you're saying. Because they should understand that there is a line between the kind of conversation you have in your bedroom and with your people and what you come out to publish and say to people mm. as a fact. Especially with the fact that you are being called a journalist. And so right journalism. now, the fact that a lot of people don't even know where their professionalism should come to play, I think we can call everybody whatever we want to call them right now. Now, and in journalism, there's something called fact checking before you even do anything, before you put anything out there, before you publish or before you say anything. So there, even there if this to, is true, so even how if, do you prove this in court? Exactly. So <laughs> even if it's true, then let it be that you have a video of him admitting to it or something so that when... Or go uh, for his meeting at night, however you know, you do it. Or something. But if you don't have anything concrete to back what you're writing up or what you're saying up, then it don't make no sense. I just no wish sense. somebody on Twitter said it and not a journalist because the conversation is beginning to shift. The truth of the matter is that when he said what he said, I was very irked and like when who disgusted said he said. by his statement. No, no, no. Okay, when he yeah. talked about um, only, how he only met being his wife. with virgin, it was a yeah. weird statement. The problem now is that this person has come out to now like say everybody's feelings, but now act like she knows something that we don't know about mm. him because I have an opinion of someone. But you know, there are men who would. It's preference. Say that they would definitely want to marry a virgin. It's of preference. course, and it's okay. the opinion of me to find that really strange. Oh, okay, all right. Happy. It's, it's strange not like to me. A problem. It's no, strange to yeah, you. yeah. It's just strange to you. It's strange. It's okay. very strange, and I, do, I, I, I can understand why somebody would see that, and I can't especially understand. in this context when they now have a lot of money. It's not brand new. Well, you can understand all your African magic movies that you've watched growing up. That's the story. But anyway, it's, 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 it's the, the fact, fact that we watch African magic movies listen, does that mean I'm that not, is what? I'm is, not. Oh um, I am not defending her as a journalist. Publicizing that, mm. like I said, if this was a Twitter by, if this was a tweet by some random person, we we'll would not be having this conversation. Mm. Was she unprofessional by doing that? Absolutely, yes. But was it something bizarre nobody had thought about? I don't think so. Yeah, which is why I said she needs to understand the conversation she'll have. In, if exactly. it's a guy now saying the Bia I don't know. Uh -huh. where they have the In the salon In or the whatever. salon, bedroom. Have it and then know Sleep what over. you're saying on yeah. your platform. But I don't know. Um, they're expecting an apology from her on social media and, and she's on not allowed to reputable yeah. publications and not allowed to ever talk about yeah. um, Ned Moko ever again. I think this is a step in the right direction. At least he's not trying to go and send um, SARS or policemen to her house. To Just as delivery guys. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> to terrorize her or try to do anything mm. stupid, you know. So he's doing the right thing, yeah. and I'm on his side for this one. Except you can show me where he's in the meeting, like you know, of what's the name of that yeah. movie? Video Living in bondage, yeah. kind of setting. And, and I think it's stuff, also like, becoming we'll a trend, and I think this could be what will actually give some people who, um, a bit of sitting up mm. to do when they start blogs because we've seen this with um, what's her name, um, Eva Nelson, mm -hmm. when she told us people to apologize and she put it up there. So I think a lot of the times people need to. Also, really be careful as to which platform they use to share certain messages. If you're mm -hmm. really going to publicize it and make it like facts, it has to be that, not anything else. Yeah. So. Okay, so from dating rumor to engagement rumor, Runtown is not taking it easy on us as she shows photos and video of rumored Sudanese Australian model girlfriend, Adult Akech, flaunting something that looks like an engagement ring, but mm -hmm. neither have addressed these rumors. No, it, it is. <laughs> you think? I think that's no fashion ring. No, <laughs> it's not a fashion ring. That's no fashion ring. Runtown have go. Ah, uh, Runtown has go. <laughs> hey, it, it, he's not running the town. No, he's not. Okay. He's, he's running. He's mad over he's, mm, now. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. I won't go don't there. leave me. Don't leave me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. When she put her, head, her hand on her forehead, mm -hmm. was when I was like, girl. Oh, it's oh so done. that's the pose. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, yeah. Tell me how to put it. Or maybe you just want to like check for this. Oh, somebody asks you for directions. Yeah, uh, instead of using your right hand, you're not saying you're like, you're not big. Okay, so when you turn this way, when oh. you're using that finger, you know, that's another pose or something. Mm. The way Let she, me lend the pose you for know, you. Know. Yeah, mm -hmm. Is it this? No, it's this hand. Like, yeah. Okay. All right. So uh, the fact that she did that for me. You're supposed to put it on your man's head, though. That is... Take that. <laughs> I'm happy for them. I'm very happy for them. I, I barely... Honestly, I don't see the Sudanese people really mixing like that. I've never really seen them mix with other African countries. She's Australian Sudanese. Yes, she is. Mm -hmm. um, and even with the Australian Sudanese, which are the first people that I had an like, obvious experience with, mm -hmm. with. They're quite together. So this was very interesting for me to say, okay, you... But then again, he's tall and he fits. They, they fit really well. So I'm guessing everything is going great. I want them to shall come out and 
say it out loud because they're already giving us snippets and I'm sure they know with that pose, that nonsense pose. I'm sure <laughs> they know. They're they're doing us, they're they know that they're, the dish -dish. You know that they're preparing us so they should just come well, out and say it. So that, yeah. Mm -hmm. They should very, do a Zoom very, wedding as well very, so everyone can watch. for them mm -hmm. and um, run down, run down. Yeah, you've tried, you've tried. It's time to settle down. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you've, tr you've really tried. What did he try? You know, yeah, run down has tried. He has run the town. Do you know things you're not telling us? Run down has really, really tried. So we'll have the Apollo conversation here. Yeah, we will. <laughs> <laughs> not, not something before they slam us with some uh, yeah. five billion. Especially when they look at you girls, ah, five billion. <laughs> <laughs> so, like I was saying, Ron Town has really tried. So it's good. It's trying to settle down now. And I think they look good together. That's one thing I can take away. Mm. They look absolutely perfect together. And the picture where it's he, he queen, king and queen. I love mm. that one as well, you know. Do you guys think she looks like um, Lupita? A little bit. Mm. Especially the black and white picture. Mm. The black and white picture brought out a Lupita, the Lupita features. Vibes, yeah. yeah. Okay. This when you said if they look at us, they'll slam us two billion. Uh, how did you say five, five billion? billion yeah. yeah. It reminded me of one. Is it a meme now? I saw a Twitter conversation where someone said, "What is the fastest way to change? Um, when you invest twenty k, what's the fastest way to get two million naira?" from that 20k in less than how many days two mm. or three days and somebody said just convert the 20k to cobble so you have <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness okay so Broadway, yeah mm. but that's that's you have left a us. <laughs> 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 and that's how we wrap up this episode of tea time thank you for watching and to join the conversation on social media with the hashtag tea time or just tweet at us at plus tv africa remember you can catch up on this episode and all our exclusive content by subscribing to our youtube channel at plus tv africa also watch tea time on our tv and in london on ben television my thank you as always go to my interesting co-anchors if you or my and if you watching yes that's me and the entire production team thank you for watching plus tv africa state time my name is elsie godwin please do stay safe